Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kamil Kuzmiak and in today's episode I'm going to show you the best minimalistic vlogging setup for iPhone 13 Pro. Let's get to it. Alright, so today I'm gonna show you my minimalistic vlogging setup for iPhone 13 Pro. This is actually a subject close to my heart because the first episode of my vlog was about my minimalistic vlogging setup in 2020. Because I changed everything, I have different phone, I have different gimbal, I have different microphone, I decided that I need to make an update and show you my 2022 minimalistic vlogging setup. If you are wondering why should you have minimalistic vlogging setup, the answer is simple. If you want to have the best quality of your vlog it's better if you use the camera and you use the heavy gimbal for the camera the problem is it's difficult to have much fun when you carry all that weight around i prefer to have a smaller setup like this one so in this little baggie i have everything i need to make vlogs and even edit them if i need to okay so first of all the new addition to my minimalistic vlogging setup is the iPhone 13 Pro. I used to have Samsung 10 before, I swapped to iPhone. I'm not gonna get into the details about iPhone 13 Pro because I think by now most of you know everything about this phone. If you're curious, I made a separate episode dedicated to just iPhone 13 Pro, so uh, you can find the link in the description below. Okay, so let's move on to the first most important item for my minimalistic vlogging setup, which is the gimbal. Okay, so the gimbal I have is DJI Osmo Mobile 4. I used to have DJI Osmo Mobile 3, but I had some issues with it. It was working perfectly fine with my Samsung phone. However, when I switched to iPhone 13 Pro, the MagSafe magnet in the phone was affecting the motor in the gimbal. And I was getting that micro jitters. And ever since I switched to the Osmo Mobile 4, I don't have this problem at all. So my recommendation is that if you want to use iPhone 13 Pro, I recommend Osmo Mobile 4. You're probably wondering why I didn't go for the Osmo Mobile 5. The reason is that I think the Osmo Mobile 4 is actually better. Obviously Osmo Mobile 5 has this nice feature that you can extend the gimbal like a selfie stick that gives you some nice range and that is very cool feature but I don't really think I need that because when I use the ultra wide angle lens in the iPhone I think the framing is just perfect. There is a lot of background and stuff so I don't really need that extended stick but on the other hand they decided to make the device smaller and I don't really understand why because it's quite small the way it is but they wanted to make it smaller and lighter because of that you have the smaller capacity battery inside and there is no option to charge your phone with the gimbal and I really like the option of charging the phone with the gimbal because it helps you to preserve the life of your battery in your phone but also if you forget to charge your phone and it's almost dead you can just take the power from your gimbal and then you can plug the power bank to the gimbal and then you can charge both the gimbal and your phone with the power bank so this is one of the reasons why i didn't go for the osmo mobile 5. osmo mobile 4 it's a perfect weight and perfect battery size it's so much better deal because for the osmo mobile 5 you need to pay like 140 pounds and for this one it's actually the dji osmo mobile 4 se and uh, I paid like 85 pounds for it. So yeah, it's, it was a great deal. As you can see, it has that magnetic clamp. I hope in the future they're gonna make a magnet that's actually compatible with the MagSafe in iPhone. So then you're not gonna need any clamp. You're just gonna be able to put your phone directly on the gimbal, maybe with some custom case uh, from DJI. And also it would be great if they would put some wireless charging here. So you can also charge it without the cable, but probably we're gonna see that kind of stuff in the future. Now we need to use the cable, but yeah, it's still better than nothing. And also cable charging at the moment is way faster than the wireless charging anyways. Okay, so let's put the phone on the gimbal. All you need to do is to put the clamp on the phone just like that. Unlike the Osmo Mobile 3, you don't really 
needs to balance it. It works without balancing. However, I like to balance it anyways, because then I benefit from the longer battery life, because the motors don't have to work so hard. I prefer to balance it once before I go filming. And the cool thing is, if you don't touch the clamp, if you put it into the pocket, you are careful and you don't like force it into the pocket so you don't make the clamp to move around, then you're gonna have the same balancing throughout the day. And also I have the little counterweight. I use it because um, in order to uh, use the ultra wide angle lens, I need to move the phone slightly to the left and it's not perfectly balanced when I do it. However, it's not actually necessary, especially if you don't use big heavy phone like the iPhone 13 Pro Max or you don't put any like extra lenses on it, but it's not expensive. I think I paid like three pounds for it and I just used the two of the three bits. So I used the one long bit and the one short because that's enough in my case. I don't know if you can see that. You need to screw it in. Okay, let's open it. We can snap the phone, the phone snaps right in place. So in order to balance it, you keep it straight like this. Yeah, it's falling to the left side, so I need to push it slightly to the right side. Now I need to move back a little bit. Okay, that's perfect. Let me check on the side. That's perfect as well. Now I can power the gimbal. Okay, and just like that, I'm ready for filming, but that's not the end. The next important item for the minimalist vlogging setup is the microphone. So let's see my new microphone. Before, I used to use the lavalier microphone like this one with the long cable, and I was plugging the cable into the phone, and I was putting it through my sleeve. I had this 10 meters of cable wrapped around my wrist and stuff. The cable was getting in the way all the time. I couldn't move away from the camera that much as well. I really wanted to have some wireless options when I looked into options like Rode uh, Wireless Go and stuff like that, it cost around £200 and I wanted to find something more affordable and I found something really cheap and I'm really happy with it. However, I made a separate episode dedicated just to this microphone so you can find the link in the description below as well. So I'm not gonna get into the details, I'll just show you the microphone. I keep it in the little baggy. It looks a little bit like Apple AirPods. You have the receiver and you have the transmitter with the microphone. All you need to do is put the microphone on your shirt. I try to keep it away from the microphone I'm using at the moment because I don't know if it's not gonna cause any static noise because it's a wireless device and this is uh, another microphone. So let's keep it away a little bit. And you have the receiver and you simply plug that receiver into the lightning port. And just like that, you have nice wireless audio. The next thing uh, I want to show you is the dead cat because this microphone comes with uh, three levels of noise cancellation, but it doesn't come with any windshield with any like wind muff. So I had to buy a separate dead cat for it. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, it looks a little bit funny. It looks like an insect, but it gets the job done. You can check out the video about the microphone I made previously and you can see how well it gets the job done. Let's put the dead cat on. So basically you need to like squeeze it in. There is a little opening here at the bottom. Yeah, I don't want to be offensive because I'm a big fan, but it looks a little bit like Khabib. If you watch UFC, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, there you have it guys, the microphone with the dead cut on and uh, you can vlog around so you don't need to worry about wind. Obviously, normally I put it more in the middle, but as I said before, I want to keep it away from my actual microphone. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I power the phone with the cable because the cool thing is, is that the receiver, it has a built-in lightning port so you can charge the phone and use the microphone at the same time, which is actually great. You can plug the receiver directly into the phone charger and to the electrical socket or you can plug it into the gimbal or you can plug it into some power bank as well but uh, when you use the gimbal the best way is to plug it into the gimbal and then separately power the gimbal and then you can power everything at the same time so this is the dedicated cable for the DJI Osmo Mobile 4 and Mobile 3 and I bought it directly from China on AliExpress I probably paid like three pounds for it okay so the USB port is here Let's uncover it. We plug the one side here and other side we plug into the receiver. 
and now as you can see the phone is charging from the gimbal okay so the next thing is the power bank and i have two power banks now before i was using this one and now i use it only for longer trips it's 20,000 milliamp hours you can charge the iphone like three or four times with it i don't usually take it with me usually i take it only when i put my backpack on you take the usb type c cable you plug the cable into the power bank you plug another side into the USB-C socket in the gimbal and now as you can see you can charge the gimbal you can charge your phone and now you can just put this power bank into the pocket of your jacket or your trousers and you are good to go okay guys so we have the gimbal we have the phone we have the power delivery we have the wireless microphone what's next actually the next thing I wanted to show you it's the most uh, affordable item on the list I bought this one in Poundland for like two pounds and that is an LED light ring. You have three modes of light and you have the strobe. You don't need the strobe for videos, but you have it. You just put it on your lens, you switch it on and you can get some extra light in the very dark situation when you are filming the vlog and there is no other option. Obviously, this is not the best light ever, but uh, it was so cheap that I decided to just include it because I use it sometimes. I'm probably gonna buy something better because as you can see with this one, depending on how I'm gonna put it on, I can use just two of the lenses. And when I use the ultra wide angle lens, the ring gets in the way i can see a bit of the ring in the frame actually if you take macro pictures and you use the ultra wide angle lens but you zoom in a little bit then you can't see the ring in the frame and you can take a really nice macro picture with this ring and usually the problem is that when you take the macro picture um, with the iphone 13 pro you need to bring the camera so close to the object that there is not enough light coming in so um, this one actually does the job also obviously when you vlog at night you can also turn it around then you can put it on your selfie camera as you probably know the low light performance and quality of the selfie camera isn't the best so that can help a little bit let me just show you a little bit real life use of this light and what a difference it can make at night okay guys so as you can see this place is quite dark and i'm shooting with the front facing camera the selfie camera so the quality should be a little bit uh, noisy and grainy and now i will switch on the led light so yeah that's the difference that's the first level of the led light as you can see already it's so much brighter and you can see me quite clearly let me check the second level this is the second level of the led light and this is the maximum level maybe it's not the most flattering light in the world but uh, when you're stuck in a very dark place and you need to shoot some talking sequence some vlog it's better to have video like this than video like that in my opinion and now just for the sake of comparison this is the wide angle lens from the back of the phone uh, the one that has the best quality and the best low light performance so this is without any light this is uh, with the first level of led light this is the second level of the led light and this is the maximum output of this LED light so you can judge for yourself if you think that's useful or not I think if you don't have any other option it can save your life and it's only two pounds so it's a no-brainer in my opinion and also you don't need to mount the light on the lens you can mount the light on something else and then you can get some nice little side light and then instead of getting that strong harsh light from the front you can get a little bit more cinematic side light. I think you can do a lot with this little light if you are creative enough. Okay, so this is the wide angle lens, the best lens in this phone. And as you can see, you can have a little bit of a side light, a little bit more cinematic effect. Let me try the second level. It may be a little bit too strong, but also I'll try the maximum level. 
Yeah, so as you can see, it's not heaven on earth, but instead of getting this very dark and grainy footage, you get a little bit uh, cleaner image. I think uh, for two pounds, you can't go wrong with it. I think in the close future, I'm gonna buy some better LED light, something that let me use all of the lenses, and then I will show you something new. Another object I carry with me, this is not a part of my everyday vlogging setup, but it's my everyday carry tactical flashlight. It's good for self-defense and stuff like that. It can also be a quite cool source of light for vlogging because the maximum light output of this flashlight is around 2600 lumens if I remember correctly. Obviously if you put the light directly at you it doesn't look very flattering however if you bounce the light off something then it makes a difference. We can see I will even switch off this main light and now as you can see we are in the complete darkness we only have the desk light in the background and let me just I will put the light on me as you can see it looks like a horror movie but when I put the light on the wardrobe put it on the ceiling or I bounce it off the wall it looks quite usable so yeah it's not the best light but still obviously it's better to have that than this Okay guys, now the latest addition to my minimalistic vlogging setup is the new power bank. I will show you right now. So my new power bank of choice is the Anker 5000 and uh, I just love it. It gives you one full charge for the iPhone 13 Pro when you use the wireless option and actually it has the MagSafe wireless option. Oh guys, that's so satisfying to use. And it's so easy. All you need to do, you press the button so you activate the power bank and then you just put it on and it's charging already. And the cool thing about this one is you don't need to have a cable. If you want to have a fast charge and you want to get more juice out of the battery, you can use the cable because you have the USB-C port. So you can use the cable that comes with the iPhone. And then you're gonna get probably something like around one and a half charge out of this power bank instead of one charge. This wireless charging option is so convenient, especially if you take a break filming and your phone is dying and you just need to juice it up it's so much better to carry something small like this because the problem with the big power bank is that it has a lot of power but you never have it on you so i wanted to have something that it's so small and light that i can put into my jacket or into my jeans and i don't need to carry a backpack around to carry this one i always have it on me always if you live in the city and you just leave your house in the morning and come back in the evening the one charge with iphone 13 pro is all you really need to have to be honest if you have some very busy day filming and you are on the trip and you are filming vlogs all the time then you put the big one into your backpack and you can charge both of the devices so that's why i like to have like a big powerful power bank for a special occasions and a small secondary lightweight device that i have on me at all times okay guys so we have the gimbal we have the phone we have the wireless microphone we have the power delivery cable we have two power banks we have a small led light uh, we have everything we need to film the vlog so let me just go outside and uh, let's see how well it works okay guys so now we are at the liverpool street on the spitalfields market so let's get some b-roll and let's test the minimalist vlogging setup so that's a little test of the microphone it's quite loud environment i have my wireless microphone with the dead cat on it's on the first level of the noise reduction and yeah let's see how well it will handle crowdy and noisy area like this one
Okay guys, so before we end the episode, I wanted to show you the last bonus item. It's not actually for vlogging, but uh, I use it when I want to take some steals uh, in a more comfortable way with my phone. But also you can film some handheld footage if you don't want to mess around with the gimbal. You just put it on your phone just like that. You can take pictures in a more comfortable way. You can hold it. Usually when you take pictures, your palm is touching the screen and sometimes it's messing up the focus. So you can just move it a little bit out of the way like this. Your hand is not touching the screen at all. This little button connects to the phone via Bluetooth. So you can just use it to take pictures and in the video mode, you can use it to start and stop recording, which is another great thing because you can put it on the little tripod remove this button from the plate and then you have this little remote control and you can start and stop recording when you are filming the sequence on the tripod but also if you take like long exposure photography and you don't want to touch your phone because you don't want to introduce any shake uh, into the shot you just take this off put it on the little gorilla pot and use it as your remote shutter button so i really recommend this also it's easier to film handheld footage with this nice little grip on the phone. This is just a nice extra piece of gear I like to carry in my everyday minimalistic vlogging setup. It is actually really amazing to me that you can fit all of that stuff uh, in this little baggie and film a really decent YouTube content with it. And also you can edit on your iPhone in iMovie or in a software like LumaFusion. Obviously it's way more convenient to edit on your uh, Mac or PC. However, it's so great if you think about it that if you buy iPhone, you pay for one device, which is obviously not cheap but you can run entire YouTube channel with just this device and couple accessories. You can shoot episodes, you can store them in iCloud, you can edit, you can upload to YouTube, you can do everything with just one device. When I was starting doing videos, something like that would be an absolute dream. So if you start your YouTube channel today, you have zero excuse. Even if you have the low budget phone, you can make a really nice video nowadays. Obviously it's not so good like your full frame camera, but it's so much better than anything you had 15 years ago when I was starting making videos. So take a full advantage of it because it is a great thing that we can have it now. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for today's vlog. If you had fun, don't forget to leave the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because there is more content on the way. And see you in the next one.